Mastering Intransitive Phrasal Verbs, Your Key to Fluent English Hello, English language learners. Welcome back to our series on phrasal verbs. Today, we're going to dive into an exciting category, intransitive phrasal verbs. These are special types of phrasal verbs that do not require an object to make sense. They might seem tricky at first, but I assure you, once you grasp them, your English will flow much more naturally. Let's start by understanding what intransitive phrasal verbs are. They are a type of phrasal verb that doesn't need an object to complete their meaning. They consist of a verb and a preposition or adverb. When these words come together, they often create a meaning different from the original verb. For example, consider the phrasal verb, wake up. In the sentence, I wake up at 7 a.m., the phrasal verb, wake up, is an intransitive phrasal verb because it doesn't need an object to complete its meaning. To better grasp this concept, let's look at some more examples of intransitive phrasal verbs. She showed up late for the meeting. To arrive, the computer is acting up again. To malfunction, the sun goes down at 8 p.m. in the summer. To set, notice how in each of these sentences, the phrasal verbs don't require an object to convey a complete and meaningful idea. One common mistake learners often make is trying to force an object into a sentence with an intransitive phrasal verb. Remember, intransitive phrasal verbs don't need an object. For example, it's incorrect to say, I woke up my alarm. Instead, you should say, I woke up at the sound of my alarm. It's also essential to understand the context because some phrasal verbs can be both transitive and intransitive, but the meaning might change. For instance, I turned off the light, transitive, versus the light turned off, intransitive. And there you have it. That's your guide to mastering intransitive phrasal verbs. Remember, these verbs don't require an object, and understanding the context is crucial to their proper usage. Don't worry if you don't get them right away. Practice makes perfect. Keep practicing these, include them in your everyday conversations or writing, and soon you'll be using them like a native speaker. Until next time, happy learning!